Hi, everyone. We're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And, of course, David Aldridge is joining us tonight from the sideline. While we get a break, let's take a look at the October standings out west. Look at the Trailblazers. They're in the upper part of the conference records right now. Win fifth place. And for the Trailblazers, they've stayed right there, just in sniffing distance of the conference leaders. That's a solid accomplishment at this stage of the season. You know, I thought maybe they'd have it in them to actually join those leaders this season. But you're right. It's still nice work considering where they are. Let's take a look at our starters for Portland. Down in the block, it's Grant and Nurkic. At lead guard, it's Lillard with Simons by his side. And it's Sharp and at the threesome. And for the 76ers, the pairing up front is Harris and Embiid. Tyrese Maxey out there with Harden. And it's Oubre in at the three spot. And Greg, with back-to-back -back games part of the schedule, how do teams feel getting into the latter part of that combo, like tonight? Well, these games can be especially taxing mentally and physically. At this point, it's a war of attrition, and really, who can survive the night? A nice shot by Embiid. Boy, if you can't appreciate how skilled Embiid is, you got a problem, and he's impossible for the defense to slow down. Lillard, the pass to Simons. to Lillard. There's the three. Trills the three-pointer. And this is Lillard's bread and butter. He's always ready to pull from that range. Simons against Maxi. Embiid sets the pick for Maxi. Just five to shoot. Puts up a deep three. Rebound by Nurkic. And here's Portland. Now here's Lillard. Last game we saw him score 32. Inside. Stolen by Harden. To the inside. They get a hand on it. Kept alive. That one falls. Crafty at cashing in from there. Oubre Jr. enjoys working on his interior game when given the opportunity. Lillard surveying the D. Now Harris. And there's a call on Tobias Harris. That is his first foul of the game. Oh, great defense. They anticipated the play and got there first. And not afraid to put his body on the line either. He took a shot for the team in that situation. Now, here's Lillard. Out to the right wing. Grant down low. Guarded by Harris. Grant sets a screen for Lillard. Offline with his three. Tough to hit that shot when the D is all over you like that. against Nurkic. Outside, Maxi. Embiid with a screen on Simon. Oubre can't get it to go. Portland trailing here. Lillard, right side. Pass to Grant. Back to Lillard. Over Harden. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Clark, the Sixers proposing to build a new arena by 2031 in the fashion district area of City Center in Philadelphia. And you know, Kevin, currently all this city's major sports teams play in the sports complex here in South Philly. The Sixers are hoping for their own building in the center of things. So timeout called here, the first for Portland. And a moment to check out Tyrese Maxey here. He had a strong showing last season. He's averaged 20 points a game, three assists, and three rebounds. And every team in the league needs shooting. That's what he brings coming off the pine. And yeah, there's always a demand for shooters, man. Have jumper, will travel. I'm telling you, most championship teams, they have a bunch of those guys who can put it in the basket. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. 
Lillard with it. Pass to Simon. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. Maxi with the screen on Lillard. Harden gets the bucket. Capable of doing great damage from outside for Harden. I think it's simply about shooting with confidence. Harden against Lillard. Grant outside. Lillard outside. Here's Sharp. No good. And they can't put him into this drought. That's another miss. Already they've missed three out of four to start. Oubre, good. Oubre's got his second basket. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Very high percentage so far. And if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. Here's Lillard after the made shot from Kelly Oubre. And here is Simon. Scoreless thus far. Lillard outside. Five to shoot. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. No good from Grant. You know, currently they're just one of five from the field. That's not going to get it done. To the middle. Here's Embiid. And the dunk by Embiid. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. And, you know, establishing that physical dominance early gives you a big mental edge, too. Don't discount that. Now a timeout called by Portland. Courtesy of the 2K leaderboard, here's a peek at the league's top scores from a season ago. Number one is Joel Embiid. Damian Lillard third. And what an option either of those two guys give you. They're both excellent safety valves when an offense is struggling. And the pass to Simon. Driving to the basket. The defensive instincts of Embiid on display there with the deny. No one near Maxi as he lets it fly. Another three for Philadelphia. Excellent all-around performance so far, hence the big lead. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. Here is Lillard following the three-pointer by Tyrese Maxey. And Lillard kicks to Grant. And it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. Boy, he's a much-improved three-point shooter, Jeremy Grant. Coaches have to appreciate what he does for the team spacing because of him knocking that down. Here's Philadelphia. They're on a 17-6 run. Embiid sets the pick for Maxi. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And so Lillard will bring it up for Portland. 11-point game. Simons surveying the D. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end. Always in attack mode. Philadelphia's gone 3 of 6, 50% from deep so far tonight. And bead the screen. The three from Harden. Rebound by Nurkic. So for the Trailblazers, their last game a loss to the Magic. Here's Lillard over to the wing. Grant, right side. Over Harden. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. The 76ers leading by nine. Harris finds Harden. Now Oubre. Here's Embiid. He's covered by Grant. From the wing. Embiid no good. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. How about Joel Embiid? A high-risk, high-reward pick turns into a superstar. Yeah, that's well said, Greg. I mean, he sat out two years before even seeing the NBA court. Sustained a foot injury before being drafted. Persevered through that. And is now one of the most dominant big men and players in the game. Now here's Lillard. Harden missing his last shot. Grant with a screen on Harden. Lillard the pass to Grant. And it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. 
Lillard's got three assists now in this one. The 76ers have gone an even 50% from the field. They are 7 of 14 for the game. And the 76ers Guard. decide to take their first time out here. So for the Trailblazers, Matisse Thibel comes in for Inferni Simons. And Scoot Henderson subbed in for Damian Lillard. On defense, the Trailblazers trailing by four. Henderson against Harden. Henderson right side. Henderson with a screen on Harden. Bible. It's hauled in by Harris. Philadelphia leading by four. Down low. Can they get it? And the dunk by MB. Selfless pass there from Maxi, Really able to handle the guard position quite well. For Portland, they've gone 5 of 12 from the field since the opening tip. Now here's Henderson. Nine points last game. Pass to Thibel from downtown. And another three for Portland. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. For Philadelphia, they've gone 8 of 15 from the field, shooting above 50% here tonight. Henderson against Harden. Outside, Maxi. Six to shoot. The 76ers need to get off a shot. Oubre can't get it to go. And here's Portland. They've got a 13-2 run going. Henderson attacking. And then Henderson with the jam. Explosive in every way. The quick first step. And then you see the hop. The 76ers lead. Harden outside. And so it looks like the 76ers will retain possession here. First and three-point shooting. First and free throw shooting. And they were third in terms of opponent scoring per game. Other teams had a hard time handling the intensity they displayed defensively. And Greg, that three-point percentage you talked about made them one of the hardest matchups in the league. They could do damage from all over the court. And so here is Philadelphia. Embiid sets the pick for Maxi Over Thibel. And it's good off the glass. Maxi's got five now. Really not part of Maxi's bag, but he was feeling it that time. Now Henderson. Grant outside. Over Beverly. And there's Grant on the assist by Henderson. He's got 10. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. And Philadelphia has possession. Maxi with it. It's Beverly on the wing. Drills it from outside. Beverly looking to score as soon as he gets the ball now, so you can't give him any room. And here's Henderson. Pass to Thibault. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Oh, reversed at home. That was pretty. Agreed. The agility on display. Yes, sir. Power and grace. That had it all. Now here's MB. He's got six. And Harris wide open. He shoots. Misses the three. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Anderson looking it over. Feeds it to Nurkic. And he hits it to tie the game up. 
And the way Henderson found a window to drop in that pass is what could make him special in this league. 144 left here in the first quarter. Outside, Maxi. Puts up a three. And it's Portland with the rebound. Nurkic has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Things really clicking for him at the offensive end. They're making good decisions, not wasting these opportunities. Now, here's Thibault. He has five. It's tipped out of bounds. It'll be 76ers ball. And a moment now to see some numbers for Harris. Good season for him last year. Last year averaged 14 points per game, five rebounds, and two assists. And, and playing with the reserves, he might not get the minutes he'd like, but you sense that hunger to improve. Well, you know, he stated that he wants to improve, but until that actually happens, he'll continue to come off the bench. Here's what Philadelphia's going with right now. Muhammad Bamba, he's checked in for Embiid, and it's P.J. Tucker in for Maxi. Love the unselfishness of Beverly. I mean, when he sees his teammate wide open, he quickly gets him the ball. Portland's gone 4-7 from three-point range so far in the first. It's Henderson on the wing. Defended by Beverly. Passes it to Thibel. In the corner, it's Little. And another three for Portland. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. Now here's Beverly. He had 15 points last out. Bamba in the high post. You know, it's not a bad idea to foul Bamba. Actually a good foul. He's hard to stop and he's not that strong a free throw shooter. So send him to the line. This is his first free throw of the game. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. And we saw it last year, guys, because those numbers were so low. Teams weren't afraid to put him on the line um, where points were hard to come by for him. And that one falls for Bamba. Uh, the raw talent Bamba has, just so impressive. A shot-blocking specialist who also makes an impact on the offensive end. And the 76ers making a change here. Korkmaz is checked in. And so he's able to get one of two. They should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. Back to Reed. And the dunk by Reed. You know, guys, passing is one part of Bamba's game that he's been working on. And, you know, when you can pass it as a big guy, that's an added bonus. Henderson outside. In the corner, it's Little. Now the pass to Winslow. Just three on the clock. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. 76ers on top. They lead by two. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for Philadelphia. Their pressure has been a key factor. Make forcing mistakes and creating more opportunities for points. That's what they've done well thus far. And another thing they've done so well is convert fast break opportunities. Great job trusting their guys and getting those easy ones. On the court for the Trailblazers. At lead guard, it's Lillard with Simons by his side. Winslow is out there with Nasir Little. And it's Grant in at the center, locking down the middle. And the dunk by Grant. Yeah, it's been a huge night for Grant, the former second-round pick. He's a guy who's had to fight for his spot in the NBA, and he's deserved what he's earned.
And it's Harden with the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. They'll be playing host to Toronto for the next one. That'll be the second game of a five-game homestand. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Harden. Portland's gone 5 of 8 from three-point land. 15 points and a deep ball for them tonight. Kicks it out to Grant. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. And as James Harden has gotten older, Clark, he's made it clear he wants to contend for title. And that's a typical progression for a player. You can't blame him. I mean, he's done just about everything you can do individually. He's aware of the fact that a championship would add to his career immeasurably. Portland trailing here. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. The NBA, of course, is so loaded, it's not easy to come out on top. Joel Embiid said, for us to be able to win, we need to try to be perfect. I need to play at the highest level possible. Our shooters and defense have to do their job. It's tough, but it's fun. I guess you have to enjoy the journey as well, Kevin. Yep, the journey, right, David, is the reward. That's for sure. Dave, thanks. And it's Simon's missing. The 76ers shooting 52% from the floor. Nice work so far from them. Back to Beverly. He feeds it to Harden. Just three to shoot. And he drives in. And it's Portland with the rebound. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. Lillard outside. Simons from outside. And it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. Lillard's got four assists in the game. For Philadelphia, they've gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Beverly dishes to Reed. And we've heard defensive-minded players, Greg, say, man, everything is a foul nowadays. You can't even touch the guy. You can't defend. Uh, do they have a point? It's getting tough, isn't it? I mean, you can't use your hands. You have to be set. It's almost like they want defenders to be traffic cones. Two shots. And he makes the first. So for the Trailblazers, here's of Nurkic. He's checked in for Grant. Murray comes in for Winslow. And it's Sharp in for Nasir Little. And both free throws, good for Reed. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Simons kicks to Lillard. Back to Simons. Pass to Lillard. Simons with a screen on Beverly. Here's Lillard, and there's the feed to Nurkic. Over Beverly, and Nurkic, the bucket on the assist by Lillard. Lillard's got five assists in the game. Here's Harden. He has six. Going inside. Here's Bamba. From outside, off the mark. Boy, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Portland. Straight away, they, they've opened things up offensively with skillful passing, running smart plays, and just setting guys up for success. You know, I also like the fact they've been really aggressive in attacking from behind the arc. They could do a lot of damage from there tonight. First free throw is good. And Philadelphia making a change here. Oubre's checked in. Good on the second, so he makes them both. 
The 76ers trail by three. Pass to Reed. Bamba setting the pick for Beverly. Oubre outside. No good on the three. Looking at Philadelphia, they took the win in their last game against Toronto. And really showed their depth when they needed it most. On the road, having to manufacture points. And, you know, the guys on the bench have great confidence in themselves. And when their name was called, they were ready to compete and contribute. Here's what Portland has lined up on their schedule. On Monday, they're off to Toronto to face the Raptors. And then on Wednesday... They continue the road trip, heading out to Detroit. They'll take on the Pistons. The free throw drops for Sharp. makes both free throws and they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter definitely that's one of the reasons they're in front right now now here's Bamba now here is Reed and he lays it straight in Reed's got eight points I mean the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening Trailblazers leading by three. Now Lillard. It's Nurkic top of the key. Passes it to Simons. And Bamba pulls it down. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. And Simons has got the ball here for the Portland Trail Blazers. When this game is done, they'll be off to take on the Raptors. And that game will be game two of three straight on the road. There's Nurkic. And it's off from three-point range. Philadelphia's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Over in the corner, Beverly. Kicks to Reed. Oubre outside. Five on the clock. And here's Harden for three. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Last game matched up with the Magic. A tough loss there. Yeah, they made some spectacular plays in it right to the very end. Just couldn't get over the hump. Yeah, you know, they didn't have their best stuff, but they were still getting after it. So you got to really appreciate the effort and hustle. Here's Nurkic, and it's out of bounds to Portland. They'll retain possession. Guys, that's all athleticism and timing. Bamba, a terrific shot blocker because he uses the physical tools he has quite well. Here's what Philadelphia's going with right now. Embiid comes in for Bamba. And next, he's subbed in for Patrick Everly. And the jam by Oubre. Eight lead changes now, and we're still just in the first half. And I'm not sure I've seen a game with more lead changes this early. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. For Portland, they've gone just 33% from the field in what's been a cold second quarter for them. Just three of nine. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Oubre's got four rebounds now tonight. To the paint, here's Reed. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Shaden Sharp picks one up. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved the layup with that foul, and he'll make him earn him from the line, and that's what you want to see. Matisse Thibels checked in for Anthony Simon. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter, but right now he's showing some aggressiveness out there. Lillard, the pass to Nurkic. He kicks it to Murray. Ball's knocked loose. Reed with the steal. The finish. And Bede runs the floor so well. 
Boy, it really puts pressure on the defense when MB makes an effort to run in transition like that. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. Tobias Harris has checked in for Paul Reed. Henderson's checked in for the Trailblazers. And so here's Portland. Murray sets a screen for Henderson. Can they get it? Murray, no good. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And, you know, they've got to be careful because this is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero ball. Now here's MB. Oubre for three. No good. He's now missed more than he's made. Four for nine. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be on James Hart. And Henderson is adept at earning these whistles. Got to be careful how you guard him. Scoot Henderson became the youngest G League player ever in 2021. And Greg, he was only 17 men. And Kevin really speaks to his abilities that he was ready for that near NBA level of competition at such an early age. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Clearly an MVP caliber talent now. MB continues to impress with his versatility on both ends. A man that big shouldn't be able to do the stuff that he does with the ball. Trailblazers trail by five. Heibel with the ball. He has five. The pass to Sharp. And the foul on Harden. That'll be his second foul of the game. Another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. Thibault kicks to Anderson. Pass to Sharp. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. MB wide open. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Embiid's got 12 in the game. The defense will have to get out on Embiid. He's dangerous at all three levels. Pass to Nurkic. Henderson against Harden. Got a piece of it. Oubre with the steal. And now here's Oubre. Fast break chance. Here's Harden. And the 76ers tack on two more. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Here's Henderson. James Harden picking up that last basket. Murray right side. Takes it off the glass. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Henderson against Harden. To the middle. There's Embiid. That shot missing. Great D that time from Nurkic. Trailblazers trail by eight. And it's Thibel in the corner. Off target from outside. And hard not to love a young guy like Tyrese Maxey, who has such a great attitude. Boy, I love the way he plays, Greg. He's effervescent in his approach. Plays with great speed and pace and fearlessness. Uh, he's got a readiness to him and a workmanlike approach that bodes well for him the rest of his career. I think he's a potential all-star, and he delivers in just about any situation he's put in. Catching up on the changes for Portland. Grant, he's checked in for Nurkic. Justice Winslow comes in from Earth. And it's Nasir Little in for Sharp. From deep. Maxi, no good. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. Five for three. That one's all good. Now he's three for five from the field. 
Already a gifted passer, Henderson has solid vision for such a young player. Here's Harden, not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Harden's got five points now in the quarter. And here's Henderson, passes to Winslow. Feibel kicks to Grant. And Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Down low. Harris inside, covered by Winslow. Plays it up and banks it in. And now a 10-point Philadelphia lead. Now, here's Thibault. He's covered by Maxey. Henderson outside. Some solid defense from Maxey. Philadelphia leading by 10. Harden has a wide open look. Buries the long-range jumper. Harden's got 14 points for the game. And that gets him going here in the second after hitting two from long range in that first. Henderson against Harden. Henderson passes to Grant. To end the run over Embiid. No good from Grant. A good board there, Kevin. But overall, they're getting slightly out-rebounded. And that's a good place to start if you're going to try to find your way back into this game. Get to work on the glass. The 76ers have gone 7 of 9 from the free throw line tonight. In terms of the ideal stretch four, Clark Tobias Harris fits the mold. Yeah, he does so much so well on the court. He's an excellent three-point shooter, helps face the floor. But as a defensive end, he's versatile, he's tough, battles on the glass as well. And I just love his overall game. Now here's Winslow. Hasn't made one yet. Here's Henderson and the rejection by Embiid. And now Harris running the floor all by himself. And now here's the 2K leaderboard with the list of the NBA's best teams from three-point land a year ago. The 76ers number one. You know, they went through stretches when they just didn't miss from beyond the arc. I mean, that carried them right to the top of that list. You know, over time, I think Harris has become really good at accepting more responsibility, and that's part of learning how to be a leader. That one falls, so he hits both of them. There's 48 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Winslow is setting the pick for Henderson. Feeds it to Winslow. Here's Thibel. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Yeah, I don't think it's an accident that aggressiveness correlates with playing better. So the aggressiveness is starting to pay off. That one misses. And so Harden will bring it up for the 76ers. Over Thibel. Harden gets the bucket. Harden's got 10 points now just in this quarter. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Winslow finds Thibel. Back to Winslow. Here's Little. Portland no good that time either. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. James Harden getting it done for the Philadelphia 76ers. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Joel, an early lead and a lot to like in the performance thus far. Would you agree? Oh, I thought we played great. Defensively, I know that I had someone behind me. If I made a mistake, I was going to protect the rim. I thought we did great. We know the adjustments are coming, and we'll see who takes advantage. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter.
Thanks for tuning in. Did you miss us? Before we discuss the game at hand, let's first check out the upcoming schedule. You know, for Philadelphia, starting the season with two straight dubs, man, you know they want to keep that momentum going. And they have reason to be optimistic that it will continue. The more you win, the more confident you become. And now, guys, let's talk about that first half. The story thus far has been the play of one Joel Embiid. Playing with that high motor, beasting on the glass. He's just out working them. You know they say effort is a skill. Well, we're seeing that skill in action. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. An exceptional performance so far from James Harden. And if he can keep shooting from deep like he did in the first half, he's going to be more than a handful. Yeah, you know what? The defense is going to adjust. They'll be ready for him now, so I'm sure they talked a lot about how to slow him down. The pairing up front is Harris and Embiid. Harden out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Oubre in at the three, the small four. That's Nick Nurse's five as we get into the second half. Takes a lot of courage to get in there with those big bodies. And Lillard with no shortage of it. Maxi in the corner. And he's good on the three ball. Maxi's got his third basket of the night. Not sure what the defense was thinking. I mean, you can't leave this guy open from deep. Lillard, the pass to Nurkic. Nurkic a screen on Maxi. The pass to Sharp from past the arc. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Trailblazers trail by 19. Here's Lillard. He has five. It's stolen by Harris. Here's Harden. Portland grabs the miss. And they're one of four here to start the second half. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Scoot Henderson spent two years with the G League Ignite team after graduating a year early from high school. He said, it's my path since I was a kid. Competing at the highest level in the world has been my main goal. Becoming the youngest professional American basketball player is just icing on the cake. Kevin, for him, it's all about ODD. Overly determined to dominate. Back to you. <laughs> I love it. DA, thank you so much. Embiid is a big man. Tall, wide, and deep. And because of this, he's so good at shielding off defenders. Now, here's Lillard. Now, here's Simons. Back to Lillard. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on MB. There's just an edge to Lillard's game. You better bring your A game defensively or he will eat you alive. Both free throws good for Damian Lillard. And I like the work Lillard's put into his defense the past few seasons. He may not be a stopper, but he's improved immensely at that end of the floor. Now, here's Oubre. Eight points for him. Harris kicks to Harden. With the teardrop, and he sinks the layup. Harden's got 18 points in the game. Yet another hard shot that Harden makes look easy. Amazing at measuring the floating jumper. And it's Willard with the ball. He brings it up for Portland. 19-point game. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Pass to Sharp. 
Knocks down the three ball. He has seven. They found a nice groove in this half, starting out three for four. The 76ers leading by 16. Now Embiid. He's got 14. Back to Harden. Fires the three. That's good, and it's Embiid with the assist. Harden's got 21. Yeah, how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? No question about it. They found a nice rhythm from deep. Now, here's Simons. Five points in the game. Grant sets a screen for Simons. No good that time. Good D by Embiid. Harris looking it over. He feeds it to Embiid. It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now, here's Simon. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Murray's checked in. And Simons drops them both. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe. And they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. Now, here's Oubre. Eight points for him. For the three. Damian Lillard grabs the loose ball. And, you know, he's a threat from deep, no doubt about it, but it just has not been there for him tonight. You might want to change your game plan a little bit offensively. Maxi against Murray. Out left to the wing. Sharp. That's good. Sharp's got five points now in the quarter. The 76ers leading by 17. Harden scanning the floor. And the dunk by Embiid. I tell you, Embiid's teammates absolutely love setting him up. I mean, they know he's going to finish strong every time. The Trailblazers have gone 4-6 from the field since the start of the third. Pass to Sharp. Simons with the ball. Maxi covering. Oubre against Lillard. Four on the clock. Sharp the pass to Lillard. And another three for Portland. Every defender's nightmare when playing this team. Lillard just with better offense. Philadelphia's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Harden against Lillard and stolen by Lillard. And now Lillard pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Maxi against Simon. MB dishes to Oubre. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Shot clock at six. Harden can't hit. Guys, this hasn't been his quarter. I mean, to me, just doesn't look completely comfortable or confident. Murray outside. Passes it to Simons. Buries it down low. Simons has got four points now in the quarter. Well, this man knows how to handle that rock. Looks like it's part of his body. The 76ers leading by 14. There's the pass to Embiid. There's the dish to Oubre. Harris outside. Here's Embiid. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Harris has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over.
All reads checked in for Philadelphia. An almost entirely new group here for Portland. Winslow's checked in for Grant. Nasir Little comes in for Sharp. Matisse Thibault's checked in for Inferni Simons. And Scoot Henderson subbed in for Lillard. Murray kicks to Little. Pass to Thibault. He dishes it to Henderson. And here's Little. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Harden with it. 21 points in the game. And Bead inside the line. Portland grabs the miss. Murray's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Anderson with it. And it's Harden picking him up. Feibel, the pass to Winslow. Kicks it to Little. Lock at six. Pass to Murray. Over Reed. Portland again missing. And so it's Oubre with it. He brings it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Now here is Harden. Passes to Embiid. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Love the way MB knows how to play with force down low, which in turn makes the defense get physical with it. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the 76ers. You know, this is an example of why conditioning can be so important. I mean, it can be critical. They continue to sprint the floor, and there's no let up in sight. And also, they've made it a point to push it off turnovers. That They're playing smart and alert, capitalizing on mistakes. And MB drops them both. Here's Henderson. And there's the pass to Winslow. But three gets it to go from beyond the arc. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Here's Harden. Dishes it to Harris. Back to Harden. Shot clock at five for Murray. Harden gets the bucket. Harden's got 23 points. Man, it's fun watching Harden use the pick and roll to his advantage. Getting space off the screen and letting it fly with ease. Winslow kicks to Anderson. Pass to Thibault. Embiid with the steal. Anderson against Harden. Drives to the hoop. Oubre outside. Jacks up a three. Rebound by Murray. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be? But so far, that's not been the case. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got his sixth rebound on the night to the inside. And Harden with the stuff. Yeah, that's a good vision from Harris. I mean, he draws so much attention himself, so he's become a capable passer. Trailblazers trail by 19. Henderson outside. In the corner, it's Little. Six on the shot clock. Good on the three-point shot. Little's got six points. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. 152 left to play in the third. Pass to Embiid. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. 24 points for Joel Embiid. Boy, what a quarter for him. I mean, he's found his rhythm and... He's really riding that wave right now. Portland's gotten 12 of their points from long range in the third quarter, going four of five shooting. Passes it to Winslow. Back to Henderson. 
There's 126 left to play in the third. Little can hit. Philadelphia leading by 18. And here's Harden. 25 points in the game. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Murray. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. You know, that's about as good a defensive play as you're going to see. Instant reaction to get a hand on the shot. Beautifully done. And the 76ers call time here. And the 76ers making a change here. Bombas checked in. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Norkic checked in for Murray. Oubre outside. Looking to end his cold spell. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And taking a look back at last year's numbers, he's about a 76% shooter. Free throw. Good. Ubre. free throws good for Ubre. impeccable from the line since halftime no misses yet you can't do much better than that guys Henderson against Harden now here's Henderson he's tightly guarded launches it rebound by the 76ers 46 seconds left here in the third quarter and a two play off the drive on the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. And that one misses. Patrick Beverly, he's checked in for Harris. It's the second from the line. And here's Anderson. He'll bring it up for the Trailblazers. Thirty-four seconds left in the third quarter. The feed to Nurkic. Reed with the steal. Everly with the ball. Now Henderson defending. Here's Harden. Portland grabs the miss. Norkic has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Here's Henderson. Over Beverly. Great D that time from Ubre. And so it's Philadelphia with a 21-point lead to end the quarter. And they're winning the turnover battle very easily in this one. Right back after this break. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Here's Beverly. And on the floor for Portland here on the fourth. 
at lead guard, it's Lillard with Simons by his side. Little out there with Grant, and it's Sharp, and at the small forward position. Now here's Beverly. The pass to Tucker. Beverly with the ball. Traps in the tray. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Lillard. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. What do you think of the league's most recent CBA? Greg, that seven-year deal just signed. Oh, Kevin, the NBA and Players Association both need to be commended. Labor peace through the rest of the decade. Sure, Most pro sports don't have this kind of stability. A free throw good from Lillard. Mark Myers, he's jacked in for Philadelphia. And both free throws good for Damian Lillard. The 76ers leading by 22. Now here's Beverly. Inside. Portland grabs the miss. Sharp's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Lillard. And Bamba pulls it down. Bamba's got four rebounds in this game. Beverly, the pass to Reed. A second chance effort, and he lays it up and in. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. And here are the Trailblazers now. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. Simons from outside. And Bamba pulls it down. The 76ers have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. And Lillard kicks to Simons. Pass to Sharp. Lillard outside for three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Has to Reed. Back to Cork Moss. Down to five on the shot clock. Reed down low. He's going against Little. And out of bounds as the Trailblazers gain possession. And the 76ers making a change here. Embiid's checked in. So it's Portland now. Lillard attacking. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And no stopping Lillard. Excellent at staying in control no matter what the D throws at him. And Clark, we know Commissioner Silver has acknowledged the game has changed in terms of its impact on players' bodies. And so adjusting the regular season's length is not out of the question. Well, you and I have talked about it for years. I've talked about it with other fellow announcers. It would be wonderful to see the season reduced by about 15-20% in terms of regular season games. I think it would enhance the product immensely. And the fact that Commissioner Silver is letting us know it's not off the table, maybe we'll see it reduced in the not-too-distant future. Here's Lillard. 76ers getting the bucket. Bangs home the trifecta. It's really been a tale of two halves, guys. A slow start, but this quarter, he has really been the man. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on Damian Lillard. And one thing about Beverly, he's not just nasty on defense. He's great at getting the defense to rough him up on the other end, too. And he knocks down the first one. 
Man, I tell you, you really have to appreciate how much Beverly hustles. He plays hungry and with an edge. He's skilled, though, on both ends of the floor in addition to that. Oubre is checked in for the 76ers. Axie comes in for Korkmaz. All three throws, good from Beverly. And these days, you know, Clark, the trade for a star player takes a stockpile of draft picks, doesn't it? Well, that seems to be the one way you can assure yourself of getting a proven star somewhere in the area of his prime. You know, and it doesn't always work out for both parties. Teams typically, in that case, would have to mortgage a bit of their future to get a player of that caliber. So it is uh, tilted towards more risk than reward in most of those scenarios. Here's Maxi after Nasir Little's bucket. Maxi passes to Embiid. Tries again. Little with the rebound. Trailblazers trail by 20. Passes it to Simons. Lillard against Beverly. Back to Lillard. Stolen by Beverly. Kicks it out to Maxi. There's the pass to Reed. Maxi on the wing. The dish to Embiid. Four on the shot clock. Pulls up. Offensive rebound. Read the pass to Beverly. Oubre outside. Embiid the screen. Oubre finds Embiid. You know, you can't go for the shot fake. As soon as Embiid has you in the air, it's over. You're done. And the first one at the line is good. And the NBA last season, Clark setting records in attendance. Fans are pouring into the arenas on a nightly basis. Well, it's a great game. I mean, you and I are biased, Kevin. We love the NBA. I played in it. You've broadcasted for a long time. But I do think there's another element, not just the excellence of the players, but the parity that exists now. There are a lot more teams that are playoff worthy, and that keeps them and I think their fans engaged as well. Lock at six. Three-pointer Lillard. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And Bede's got 15 rebounds here tonight. Pass to Maxi. And with some of the new rooting interest for fans, some concern about potential hostility for the players when great things don't go their way. I mean, there's a lot riding on the outcome of games and, and stat lines. And that's something the league has to take seriously, making sure the players are protected because the emotions can run rampant. And it's the 76ers with the ball. The Blazers getting the bucket. Beverly feeling it out a bit. Down low. Here's Embiid. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Embiid's got 28. Hey, Embiid is used to this. It's second nature to him. That's why he's so good at being able to score through contact. Simons against Maxi. And the slam dunk by Simons. And how about the footwork? Check out those moves in the post and then the sweet finish uh, to go along with excellent it. work around the basket you're right ga left his man lunging and reaching for air that was something else right there here's beverly portland making their last shot maxi with the screen on lillard kicks it out to maxi and the three ball is good zero hesitation maxi great confidence in his mechanics and his work that's the shark Three-pointer, Lillard. Here's Little. Grant outside. And again, it's Portland converting. Man, that is almost the perfect arc on that mid-range J from Grant. You can see evidence of the work he's put into improving that jump shot of his. And Philadelphia calls time here.
Some changes for Philadelphia. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Reed. Tobias Harris comes in for Oubre. And it's James Harden in for Patrick Beverly. And Portland with a change here, too. Nurkic has checked in. Now, here's Maxi. Up top, MB shoots it. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. And that's now 30 points for Joel and B. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. Pass to Nurkic. Fires from deep. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Harden inside the three-point line. The second effort. And B, no good. And Simons has got the ball here for Portland. Lillard outside. Some nice ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Let's the three fly. Good on the triple. Lillard's got 23. He's just an electric factory. Lillard is such an amazing athlete. Lillard against Harden. Now here's Tucker. He's covered closely. Harris inside. From outside the arc. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Lillard's got his fifth rebound in this one. Lays it up off the glass. 11 points for Shaden Sharp. Showing the quickness right there. Just tough to keep up with it. The 76ers leading by 18. Now Harden. Embiid sets the pick for Harden. And Embiid throws it down. Love how aggressive Harden is in the pick and roll. Exceptional at shooting and passing after getting the screen. Trailblazers trail by 20. Lillard with it. And one of the big changes to college basketball, Clark, as you know, the NIL, name, image, and likeness. It, it seems like that would impact the choice to enter the NBA draft. I don't think there's any question it's had that impact. Some guys that were borderline draft picks now not being penalized for being on scholarship can monetize their name, image, and likeness and do so to the tune of some fairly significant dollars in some cases. And even if the money is not NBA large, it still can close the gap for a family of a player that might be struggling and could use some additional income. The Trailblazers shooting it brilliantly here late. 60% from the field. And it's Simons off the drive. Count it. Philadelphia's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. And there's the pass to Harris. To the inside, and Grant sends it back. Well, he's an incredible athlete. You can just see that using his vertical and his reach on the defensive end. Outstanding block. Lillard misses. The 76ers leading by 18. Pass to Embiid. Great D that time for Nurkic and for Portland. They're shooting here about 46% for the game. Grant, the putback. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And there's a whistle. It goes on Shaden Sharp. That'll be his second foul of the game. Philadelphia shooting a pedestrian 36% in the fourth quarter. The offense not doing their best work of late. Harden against Lillard. Pass to Embiid. Shoots over Nurkic. And there's Embiid. That's good on the assist by Maxi. 34 points for Joel Embiid. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Philadelphia. 
You don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And they were win important. And this one will go down as win number three. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. When it is just a two-game season series, the team winning game one has that slight mental edge going into the second meeting, knowing they've already solved their opponent one time and only have to do it one more time. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Joel Embiid. Yeah, and he was aggressive rebounding the ball tonight. I think his aggressiveness on the glass helped set the tone. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. Now here's Henderson, and it's in there. I mean, you can appreciate the fight now, but it isn't how they came into the game. Yeah, you know, I agree with you. They waited too long to finally ramp themselves up. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. Harden against Simon. Can't cash in on the 10-foot jumper. Over Beverly. And Portland again with the bucket. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Henderson against Beverly. And Scoot Henderson picks up the foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And due to the bonus, we'll head to the line for two. No good on that one. And the second free throw, good. For three, Henderson, no good. So it's Philadelphia winning this one easily. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly. And the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, James. You have seen every type of defense from opponents over the years. What do you enjoy about that back-and-forth challenge? Just every single game, I'm trying to figure out what they're doing and how can I uh, be aggressive and attack it. You know, I love playing a game of basketball. I love you know, being crafty and, and just trying to compete at a high level every single night. You know, It takes a lot, but I'm built for it, and uh, I'm going to just continue to keep going. Well, you won the chess match tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David, thanks so much. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Joel Embiid.